Didn't you say you wanted to tie one fly? Yeah, just one fly, one very complicated fly. I'll get loads of other stuff. There's a fella coming with a lorry. <laughs> One fly. One fly. Okay. Just gonna see where these are gonna end up. So that is the, the gut worm gut. gut. Yeah, silkworm gut. Silkworm gut. So I just and that goes more or less all the way down the hook shank. Or three quarters thereof. Yeah. And that is strong enough to hold any sort of a salmon. Or big fish. Yeah, once you get a that, that, that won't pull out or so. No, once you get a few few tight wraps on it, yeah, then it's, yeah, it's that won't shift. Rock solid then that. The head area at the front is really important to where you're going to tie in the wing and where your head is at the front of a fly. It's really important to mark an area there that you don't creep into when you're okay when you're tying the body of the fly. This UTC thread, you can unspin it and flatten it, so it can yes. build up a flatter underbody. So uh -huh. you do four or five wraps, and then you just unspin it. You just keep it nice and flat. Yeah. So that's oval silver tinsel. Yeah. For the the tag, or is that the butt? It's uh, the tip. The so tip. A little silvery tip right at the back of the fly. I see. Keep it all nice and tight, nice and straight. He is steaming up the set. I don't believe this. <laughs> it's essential. Oh my god. And if you notice the the floss it kind of flattens yeah nice and wide yeah that's what you want so it lays flat yes that's this is the tip that's the tag and then you have the tail uh, and then yeah. the butt polished no. agate stone Just, now we get in and we polish this area here I don't believe this. <laughs> oh my god. No, I just have to look through these to get a reasonably straight one. Something like that. Yeah, that's the one. And it has to be roughly the same length as the body. Almost okay, okay. A little bit longer. William Black have tended to have quite long tails. So you don't use a pinching loop there, you just tie it on and then manipulate it afterwards. Manipulate it afterwards, yeah. There's four other feathers to go on this tail here now. A couple of fibers of this. And what sort of a bird is this? Uh, what it's did a, you call it? So it's just a parakeet. What is a parakeet? A small parrot, I suppose. Oh, I see. Yeah. Three of these. Okay. And these are nothing more than a than just a a tail highlight really. So so they're just sitting there really just to add a bit of colour into the base of that. The reds go in as well now. Yeah, so now I can mess with these feathers a little bit to get them where you want them where I want them I see I see I see so now I've waxed the thread and I've put a waxed base down here to take the the ostrich hurl you strip off a tie in point there yeah and trim it a tying in point yeah so then you tie that in And then cut 
capture it in. Let's tie in some oval gold tinsel. Keeping it on the back. So that goes as a ribbing sort of over this body section or over the whole thing then eventually uh no it's not it's just like a butt oh it's just like a butt again yeah and snipped off right first body section is a gold butt gold tip sorry gold tip um brown floss and a olive hackle okay And then bring it down. And polish this floss. You do that with every section, whenever you use floss, you do that? Yeah, try and get a flat base for it to go onto and then okay. polish it as you go. And then we can double this hackle back over itself. Now we only need a few wraps of this hackle. building back up a, a level waxed thread base. So up nice and tight to that hackle. And is that called a middle butt now or is there another word for this thing? Well it's or just... A center bud, but B-U-T-T. -T. It's just... Um, An embellishment. Oh, it's all embellishment. So, we had a little break. Yeah. But now you are basically <coughs> repeating the same thing you've done there further back, or what's... Yeah, just building up the body sections. Just the different segmentation of the body. And that is what sort? Mint green or, or no, lime? Lime? No, that is an olive green. Or an olive green. Yeah, just to sort of mirror the hackle there. Yes, yes always following the same patterns basically isn't it yeah just different colors and different hackles hackers yeah too much on it. So you're on the black thread now? Yeah, I've just changed the black thread to do the, the throat veiling uh -huh. and then we'll start doing the wing. And the wing is very simple in this one, so... Is it? Yeah. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah. I love the colours, like the combination. It's all about contrasts, like, like the brown and the mm -hmm. green and mm -hmm. the, the two mm -hmm. reds and then the yellow and the olive and then 
the blue with the orange and little little flash of red at the front then. You just bring it together. Yeah. So this wing here, this is going to be the far side. I'll just build this one up first. Now I want it just crush it down a bit. And I want it just sort of halfway up the tail really. About about there. So swap hands, take a firm grip. Get it just where I want it. And then with a pinching loop. That's the only bit I know. Well, a bit more, but not much when it comes to this sort of thing. Make sure it's sitting on top. And it's a very, very sparse wing. It's all about movement in the, uh, uh. in these sort of early Irish salmon flies. Oh, that's a smell. You sniff. Oh. We should, you should have sniffer vision. S sniffer what? Sniffer vision. <laughs> there you go. And just a bit on there, and that will just. There, it's in nearly every classic salmon fly. Uh, a, what? Pe a, a piece of bronze mallard. Bronze mallard, yeah. yeah. some kingfisher cheeks. I'll try and use my tweezers to put them into position. Oh, great. Look. Such a little accent it gives it. Yeah. It's amazing, mate. And then a little bit of wax. And just put a layer of the base so that comes to the front. And this is a golden pheasant topping feather. Just throw a, a wrap over that. Another one just to lock it. Another one. It's a uh, blue macaw. Blue macaw. Blue, blue and gold macaw. It's your standard, you know the when you see the blue macaw parrot. Yeah. The classic yeah. parrot. Like yeah. Two. Because they're uneven length. Again, you just give them a little squeeze. And it just creates a a flat spot on them. So I'll just tie that on now. Okay. So that was a bit of black wa varnish you were putting yeah, on? Yeah, you just put a bit of black varnish on on just the very ends there of all the, the wing fibres, you know, so okay. so they, it just kind of disguises them, really, Yeah. because you're just trimming them off, so it's hard to 
it's a steep slope, so it's hard to get thread wraps on. Yes. So you just disguise them. <gasps> just trying to build up as fine a rope as I can. scary moment and actually just vanish down behind the wing and the head now that's the fly finished you know what Dave I think that would make a perfect pike lure. German moron. Mosche Aringa, a culture, do send a pian the boys. Marta, me on the stank, a king, darling, tackle for each more. Moho Berry, I'm so fat, the vein of Rano, where the main grace spread. Is the break of commanding king commission to a later run? Tashaka's tashu, ten tours got to be on shoe, a carpet.